of their losers top eight match. Here we go. It's just taking a little bit slow. Dijon and Mark, though, going on a little bit of an aggressive state right now. Both players kind of feeling themselves out, figuring out what to do against each other in this matchup. Good catch up on the uh, on the tether jump there from Jean Mark. He seems to have a very solid control over Ice's ledge options there. However, Arsene's on the table, and this will flip the game even if Ice is able to make use of it heavily in his favor. However, so far, he's half the meter down and not getting much uh, use out of it. Only landing, only landing a few nicks with guns and uh, the late hitboxes of certain moves like Nair we saw there. Arsene's gone and Ice not getting much out of that utilization. And now he's dead from fair, Jean-Marc taking a swift lead here with only 60 on him now for his first stock. Fair one, fair. Ever Jean Marc covering from the ledge and slowly forcing ice across stage. However, that dare is going to reverse it, put him in favor. Missing the dare on that two frame. Backer is going to go ahead and recover, and now Ice is able to set up shop just a little bit. However, pulling back off. And now Arson's on the table again, missing that backer just a little short, and the landing is going to go ahead and stop him. Dash attack, the online Joker special. The backer is going to go ahead and either shield poke or catch Jean Marc right after he drops his shield. Taking a little bit of time. I like that he's wait. He'd rather waste his. He'd rather uh, choose less invincibility to uh, wait out the uh, the Arsene there that Ice has. And again, uh, Ice getting much more uh, utilization out of Arsene this time than he did his first. And a nice string there to put Jean Marc at 50, uh, 43 percent. Ice is slowly bringing the percent deficit back in his favor. Wow, great awareness and read uh, and reading capability even there too. Just waiting for a forward smash to come out. I believe missing his IDJ there for his up air. Poking through with that one though on uh, platform. Sean Mark recovering back to stage. Nice dash attack to put himself on the advantage. And now another Arsene is out for uh, for Ice. Let's see if he can utilize this to put himself in the lead and the extra credit zone, as I like to say. A little late on that uh, downer to catch the air dodge. Missing the grab, though, uh, Dijon Mark. Never getting it this time. Down throw. Not going to kill just yet. And again, that's the second time that Dijon Mark has challenged these downward guns, especially at the Arsene level. Um, oh, suck. Oh my god, he footstooled him! But Tether's gonna go ahead and give himself a little bit of a safe, uh, is gonna go ahead and give himself that safe recovery that he needs that most characters can't get after that. Get up attack and, uh, invalidate John Mark's continuation of the string. Missing his drag down on the up air, though, after his fair one. Narsen's back in the building. Down there, and too high to get his up air, unfortunately. And now Ice is looking for a back air in order to close out Dijon Mark's second stock give himself more hope of winning this game. Three minutes left on the clock now. Not challenging the down guns now, forcing Ice to mix himself up a little bit, but that missed inhale is gonna be punished by an Arsene back air. Ice at a 63% deficit, and Dijon Mark with one swift move, quickly end this game. However, Ice does have the ability to come back with his quick Joker strings. Also, prowess in general. They hit a dash attack, turning with back there, and Dijon Mark is gonna throw up smash out, catching ice is out of, sh uh, catching ice dropping shield just a little bit. Caught him lacking a bit there. It's gonna go game one to Dijon Mark there.
It seems like we're running it right back the way that we had it before. PS2 with the Joker Kirby matchup. Oh my goodness. Again, Dijon Mark taking a nice hefty percent lead. Almost closing out Ice's first stock in a quick, uh, in a very quick, uh, what seemed to be zero to death there. However, Ice using gun movement to give himself just that extra bit lateral move, uh, extra bit lateral movement there. And a tech chase with a down tilt jab, with a down tilt lock for the forward smash to close out Arsene and Ice's first stock. A much better lead than, uh, than last time with Dijon Mark. Again, Dijon Mark going uncontested with his combos there. Swing and hammer, hoping that he's gonna catch Ice's jump. Or Ice just a little bit patient, waiting till after the full hammer animation is complete to get himself, uh, to, to get himself missing that percent. Missing a two frame down smash there. Looked like Dijon Mark wanted a trip there in order to get the chase into up smash. Missing his grab too, Ice. A lot of short hops all over the place, keeping his movement very fluid, not staying too, uh, not staying uh, in one spot for too long, as that Kirby up throw and down throw are starting to become uh, issues for him and threats even too. And that back air all the way from underneath the plat, all the way, all the way from underneath the stage is going to close out Dijon Mark's second stock. Overextending just a little bit there is what caused him to lose that. However, I don't blame him for the lead that he had. And now Arsene is back on the table for Ice. Took a little bit longer this time, as we haven't seen him use Rebels Guard at all, Rebels Guard as all, at all in, uh, in either game. However, it's quickly gone. As that up throw is going to go ahead and slam Ice from the platform straight to the skybox. It's something that Ice has... Uh, has unfortunately suffered from in his set with, Dij uh, with Dijon Mark, where he's been having these slow times on our set uh, to come out, but they've quickly been stuffed out. I think about only one time he's gotten a little bit of use out of it, but as quickly as it left, it's almost back now even, as Arsene is finally here for Ice's lax stock. Could be his guardian angel and savior here. However, a trip on that uh, forward tilt is gonna lead him to a forward smash off stage and that jump out back air is gonna go ahead and challenge Ice and close out game two in Dijon Mark's favor. The convincing win.